Today we are being led to believe that absolute truth does not exist. It seems that everything must now be philosophically interpreted by those who are highly educated. Our colleges and universities such as Harvard and Yale, once founded to advance the study of the Bible, now embrace a multitude of world religions. While Christianity is presented as just one more religion and the creator of the universe is presented as just one more God. Surveys reveal that while other faiths advance, Christianity is on the decline. The very principles upon which our nation was founded are interpreted away while more and more people professing Christ stand idly by, ashamed of what they believe. Intimidated by the wisdom of the world, few have the courage to stand up for what they believe and tell the world that there is absolute truth and His name is Jesus Christ. Unto the philosophers who profess themselves to be wise, what we believe is foolishness, when in fact it is the wisdom of this world that is foolishness with God. The Holy Bible contains a record of what Jesus taught. Yet in an information age that teaches everything but biblical principles, few care to find out what our Creator wanted us to know. Because of that, anything can be presented as Christian. Not only that, but anyone can call themselves a Christian. Elements of pagan sun worship that never had anything to do with Jesus are now accepted by many professing Christ. Highly trained theologians know that, and while others quote them, they themselves have no interest in public debate. They know better and will do anything possible to avoid the subject. Today, for the most part, all we receive is unchallenged lectures in our churches. No matter what is spoken, philosophers are considered men of God just because of their education and position. It was not always like that. Men of God also sat in the pews. And while the word was received with all readiness of mind, people searched the scriptures every day to determine if what was being presented was true. Now we're being told that toleration is important and that everything is subject to the interpretation of men and that we cannot really be sure of anything. That is not Christianity. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believeth. The true gospel, free from the deception that has crept into Christianity over thousands of years. As believers, the time is now for us to wake up and take a stand for biblical Christianity. Earnestly contending for the faith once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts. <laughs>